Here we have a question on cumulative frequency graphs, grade B, GCSE, level 8, national curriculum. Pretty standard question, um, but it's split unusually, split over two pages. So here's the first page. And then when you finish doing this, you might want to have a look at, pause it on this page. But we'll start with this first one. Okay, so we're given a frequency table and we're asked to write down the modal class interval. So that's just like a bonus mark to start with. Which was the modal class interval? Modal class means the mode. The mode is the most common. Which one appears the most? Well, the most frequent one is the one that appears 34 times, which is between 90 and 100. So the modal class is this group 90 to 100. So that's one mark to start with. Not really grade B, but um, an easy mark to start with. So the cumulative frequency, Again, all you've got to know is how this works. Cumulative frequency is just the frequency added up and accumulating as you go along. So the first one is just the 4. Then we've got the 4 plus 12, which is 16. Then you take that value and add the next number, which is 34, to get um, 40, 50. And then we add the 32 to get 82. Then we add the 26 to get 108. And then we add the 12 to get 120. You know if you got it right, because this number at the end should add up to the total number of the frequency, so 120 films. So that's one mark for that. Okay, now I'm going to use this um, table in the second part. Let's just paste it in so we can see it. Here it is. Okay, on the grid, draw a cumulative frequency graph um, for your table. It's worth two marks. So on a cumulative frequency graph, we are looking at these values here. We ignore the first ones. Um, we are just trying to plot the cumulative frequency at the end of each interval. A common mistake is to plot it in a midpoint, but you're quite nicely um, guided here by them not having a midpoint. They're not going 80 to 90. They're, going, they, they're always starting from 70, which, um, which helps you realise that that's the, hopefully that's the value you need to plot. So we need to plot 80 at 4. So 4 at 80, sorry. Now using um, the scale... We have 10 squares is 20, so each square is going to be 2. So 4, that's uh, 80, is going to be 2 squares. And then we've got um, 16 at 90, which is going to be 2 squares less than 20. And then we've got um, 50 at 100, which is going to be out there. And then 110, we've got 82, which is going to be there. Um, 108 at that one, which will be four squares above 100, and then all the way up to 120 on the last one. Okay, now this is a cumulative frequency graph. In the, the old days, they used to differentiate between graphs and curves, uh, polygons and curves, but now um, you can either draw a polygon or a curve. Um, oops, I'm going to do a polygon because it's very difficult for me to draw a curve with on the computer so I'm just going to use straight lines and this is fairly straight anyway there's no real a little bit of a curve there in here but you tend to get this s-shaped curve now you don't have to join this up to zero um, but you can do because you know when at 70 there are no values so we can join that up so that will be two marks for drawing that graph so plotting the points is one mark joining up um, would be your second mark there um, I think you would get one mark if you've got six five out of this five five out of these six points right um, you have to be within half a square for each one um, I often see people drawing bar charts here for cumulative frequency but that's generally just because people haven't revised and remember um, gone through cumulative frequency graphs they're very straightforward to do once you've done a few practice ones use your graph to find estimate for the median so the median is the middle value and on cumulative frequency, because we consider it to be con um, continuous data when it's been grouped, we just go from the middle value, which is the 60th value, to our graph, and then down to the x-axis. And we can see that that's, on this scale, each one is 1. So that's 101, 2, 3 on my one. Okay, and as long as you draw your lines on and read it off carefully, you would get the marks. I think they've allowed anything between 101 and 105, so it would seem 103 is what they consider to be the exact answer. And there you go.